Congratulations. Wow. Lots of people went for wailing and crying. So wailing is when you're making a lot of noise, kind of like a baby, but an adult. Does anyone have a good word for that, for wailing um, in Spanish? Like that llanto that's so loud, that's uh, wailing. Um, so angry, and he's also regretful. Letting people in. As you come in, go ahead and click. Congratulations to Matilda. You got it. Okay, let's go to the next question. This will be a, the. This is a barn burner. So close. Curly's wife tells Lenny that if Curly starts getting tough on Lenny, that he should. What does she tell Lenny to do? Very good. Yeah, we got Bray Curly's other hand. That was her suggestion. She doesn't know about running to the bush. Um, and she wasn't even thinking about the boss. Jump into the next one. Wow. All right. We got a few good answers. Next question. I'm dropping the link in the chat if anyone wants to join. How did Lenny kill the dog? Very good. He accidentally smacked it too hard. Um, he's just a big, big man. Congratulations, Matilda. Three in a row. All right. Let's see who can catch up. Although Lenny is distraught or very sad about the puppy, he still tells Cur Curly's wife all about... Congratulations. His favorite story. It's about the rabbits. Ooh, Gabrielle is inching up there. Next we have Curly's wife admits something about Curly in this chapter. What is it? And you can still join in. I'm putting the link in the chat. She admits that actually she doesn't like Curly. Whoa. All right. Next question. We only have 10. So these are the last four. Um, what, how does he explain that he likes rabbits? He likes, he likes to Very good. He loves to pet soft things. So we see a lot of foreshadowing here from even chapter one. Like the girls dress before, Lenny takes hold of Curly's wife's, what does he take hold of? And he won't let go. Her hair. All right. That was a tricky one, but most everyone got it. Good job. Ooh, Matilda, you are on an answer streak of seven. Congratulations. How did he accidentally kill Hurley's wife? Good job. 
And two more questions jumping on here. Okay, infer means what can we learn or how can we understand that Curly never cared for his wife? What does he do so that we understand he doesn't really love his wife? This was a tough one. Infer is a is a word that means like it's not explicit. It's not clear. Um, you have to understand it. So he he doesn't care. He's not crying over her body. He's not doing anything except wanting to kill Lenny. All right, jumping to the last question. It's going to be hard to beat Matilda. At the end of the chapter, Candy is mostly sad for... All right. He's sad about the fact that the farm is probably not going to happen. So we know who's in first. I can't remember who's in third. Congratulations, Valentina. Second place, we have Ignacia. And congratulations on getting 10 correct answers. While I close this down, can you write in the chat how what how did you feel after reading chapter five? How did you feel after reading chapter five? Hmm. Kind of nervous. So I received a direct message. You can either direct message me or um, you can um, write it in the chat. Looking for people to participate. How did you feel after reading chapter five? Uh-oh, if I don't hear people writing or if I don't see it writing, I'm going to call on you shouting out there. Oh, thank you so much, Ignacio. A little brutal, disturbed. All right. Let me, um, I'm just trying to get this up so that I can share the screen with you here. It took a very dark turn. Yes, I like how you wrote that. It's almost like I'm reading it and I hope that it doesn't happen. Okay. So I'm going to ha make sure, I want you to go ahead and turn on your um, annotate. Make sure that you're able to write because we are going to be working on vocabulary today. Okay, I just need to pull this up. Here it is, all right. So we did our Kahoot quiz. Our goals this week are to, we're especially going to be looking at the vocabulary in chapter five, and we're going to do a practice discussion. We're getting close to the end of um, the semester. And so I want to make sure we're ready for the final oral exam, which will be like a discussion. And then for the second class, um, I have 
a, an activity on Educandus for you to do, please remember starting this week, you should complete this activity and it counts as your attendance. So we will have two attendance. We're only starting now because this has been an interesting semester um, with lots of uh, organizing challenges. So most other classes have had attendance for two classes all semester, not us. We are starting this week. Does anyone have a question about um, attendance? Okay, um, if you do, you can go ahead and write. We'll get back to you, but please remember dates. So for next week, very important, boop, we have our listening test and that is worth, oh, I can't remember. I believe it's 20% of your grade. So very important that you um, make sure the listening works for you. We will be doing that during class two. Um, and then on June 16th, uh, the Lambs chapter six, chapter six, and then please also note that we also have TOEFL listening and integrated writing. And so that is on Educondus. That'll be due on June 23rd. I will again show you this at the end of class. So if you have any questions, we can look at this at the end of class. All right, get ready. We are going to be looking at our vocabulary from chapter five. Um, I want you to write the word that best completes the sentence. Um, the words that we'll be using today are bewildered, Bounce, confide, console, contorted, creep, hurl, jerk. And please feel free to repeat after me if you, I'll leave a little space. You're all on mute, so you are free to echo muffled. Mutt, ear, scent, sigh, sling, sorrow, wrist, and Rise. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you are ready with your um, annotate so you can write a word on the screen. Looking for those thumbs up. Oh, actually, you might not be able to do a thumbs up. I just realized. <gasps> Thank you. Good job. And if I turn purple, I'm sorry, my computer is having an issue. Okay, let's get ready here. Our first sentence, the boy mm, a rock from a bridge and broke the window of a car. This is a verb. The boy mm, a rock from the bridge and broke the window of a car. Ooh, a little more challenging than previous weeks. I'll, I will, I mean, we know it's a word that is the same or similar as throw. Can you think of what is our vocabulary word? The boy Ooh, Diana, yes, this is clapping with my one hand. Um, and extra credit 
for someone who can write it so that it fits in the sentence. So I'm, I, I did have to modify it for this one. We have the word hurl. How would we write it in the past tense? The boy hurl. Blue, past tense. No one? I'll give you another clue. It's regular. Hey, you got it. Way to go. Yeah. Yes, that's it. The boy hurled. I just made it so it would go over it. Good job. Hurled a rock from the bridge and broke the window of the car. Yay. Thank you. All right, we will do this. So that's how this activity goes. Way to go for participating. Let me clear those drawings and we'll do the next sentence. If the store, if the door is stuck, you need to give it a This is a fast movement to move yourself or something else with a sudden quick movement. Good guess. All right, we got a couple of guesses here for bounce. Does anyone else have another guess? Because bounce is more like this. Yes. All right. Oops. Jerk. Yes, you got it. That's all right. That is our goal here. We're going to work on this a little bit. This is actually using those vocabulary words in a sentence. If the door is stuck, you need to give it a jerk. That's that fast moment. All right, next. He was kicked in the stomach and fell on the floor in agony. This means that you're twisting your body from side to side. Oh, extra points to Ignacia. All right. I'm hoping to see some other names writing on here. Francisca, Rafaela, Sherilyn, Diego, eh, Rosie, Gabriel, Vicente. I'd like to see some other names up here writing. Excellent. Well done. So the word is writhe, and he was writhing on the floor. All right. I think I hurt my mm on my right arm. What is the word? Thanks, Vicente. <gasps> Yes, thank you, Ignacia. All right. Yes, there we go, Anais, well done. Yes, our wrist. It took me a long time to learn that word in Spanish. Wrist. All right, we'll clear those drawings. Next, I rescued a mm from the street, and now it looks like she's going to have puppies.
Let's see if you got it right. Ding, ding, ding. Well done. All right, clearing all drawings. Next one. Um, he was mm, a tennis ball against the wall. Clue here. This is with a ball. Ooh, tough one. Matilda, congratulations for taking a stab at that. Um, when it's when it's a tough word, we don't know. Um, less people participate. Does anyone else want to guess? And part of this is helpful for me to, um, to think about like what words are challenging. All right. So in this case, let me give you a definition to move something around with a lot of energy, especially a ball and getting ready here. Yes, congratulations. It is bouncing. So taking the word bounce to bouncing. But a hurl is another good word to use with ball. So I can understand that confusion. You could definitely hurl a ball just like you do a rock. All right, let's do two more. And then we'll move on to our discussions. So I am Everyone should be able to participate in the discussion. Please let me know if you have any issues, but I would expect everyone to be present and talking on the discussion. Two more words, get ready. Counting down to discussion time. The store clerk stood there with an expression on her face. This expression is when someone is completely, totally confused. What kind of expression? Rosie, so good to see your name up here. Um, and I would ask anyone if, if you have a name on here that is not on the, um, on the attendance, can you change your name? That helps me when I'm taking attendance. All right, let's check it out. Yes, you all got it, congratulations. And our last question, Last one we'll do today. Let me clear this off. Okay. They felt, mm, or sorry, we felt mm, when our dog was buried yesterday. We felt mm, when our dog was buried yesterday. Sebastian, good to see your name up here. Ooh, there we go. Yes, taking a word, an emotion, and turning it into an adjective. So the word is sorrow. And to make this even make more sense, sorrowful, sorrowful. All right. 
Yes. Okay. I'm going to clear your drawings and we are going to actually pause here. Let me stop sharing if I'm able to. Um, yeah, I noticed too, some people are, it helps if you're able to change your name. I um, was doing attendance and there was a phone number on there and I don't know anyone's phone number. So if you notice attendance, um, you, we, you can send me a message if there's a mistake in attendance. Okay, I am going to stop sharing this. Okay, because we want to go to Educondu, so I would like to invite you. Okay, and let me share. Now I want to share Educondu's with you because there is a link that I would like to invite you to go to. Give me a thumbs up if you can see the screen. Oh, if you can see, if you can see Educondus. <laughs> all right, it looks like we can see Educondus. So you're going to want to scroll down all the way to chapter five, three, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. All right. And almost there. Okay, here it is. Class one, discussion, questions, group work. And this should take you, I just set this up a little while ago. This should take you right up here to this presentation. So I do see one person has uh, been able to bop on. Go ahead and connect. And I am also going to put this in our chat so that if you're, you know, on a phone and it's really hard to get there, hopefully you can get on here. Here is the link um, to this discussion questions. All right. So I am actually going to put these into groups of seven, and then we will do the last one together. And this is because um, we just have so few people in class today. So let me show you who's going, the, um, the group you're going to be in. I'm going to add it right here. And just, it'll just be a second. Here we go. We're going to scan all of these. So I'll try to make that a little bigger. If you are in a group of two, um, I need you don't necessarily need someone to write the answer, but you do need to decide who is going to report. So your groups, Gabriel, for example, but Benjamin, Gabriel, and Valentina Tapia, you will be in group one. So that means go to page number two. Um, that is a little confusing, but I just want you like, <laughs> so just take it the group plus one. So group one is here, group two is here, group three is here. I hope that makes sense. And if you need to check, um, you will have 10 minutes. You should turn on your microphone and work together to answer uh, the the question and write the answer and 
one person will report back to class. Okay, so um, let's see. Do you know what group you are in? Give me a thumbs up if you know what group you are in. Ignacia knows which group she's in. She's giving me a thumbs up. Thank you. So does Sherilyn. If you don't know what group you're in, please write or check back here. Yes. Okay. So you should be speaking in English and you have 10 minutes. Getting ready, let's go, opening all rooms. I'm gonna go through and write the names on here. Gabriel, you are in group one. Benjamin, you are in group one. And Diana, you are in group seven. Benjamin? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's on, um, So yours is on, um, Benjamin, you just, here, let me, what, could you, you're in group one. So that's going to be just on this page two. And I'm just going to put some colors on here. Benjamin, do you need me to send you the link? Here is the link, Benjamin, and you have two people in your group, so I would suggest that you join it. Oh, I see. I think I figured it out. Did you get it now?
Benjamin, you should be assigned to a class now or a group. I am currently um, getting this ready so that we can go into a discussion when everyone comes back. We should be ready. Everyone should be joining us in about one minute. All right, everyone should be coming back in about 30 seconds. Just joking, breakout rooms are closing. All right, it looks like people are coming back, which is fantastic. Um, we'll just wait. We have five more seconds for everyone to come back into the room. 
Excellent. So um, thank you. It was very fun to see people working on each of the answers here. Um, I am once again going to share the screen, but we're going to be looking at a different screen. In this screen, we're only looking at the question. And um, I will call on your group to answer. So in our first group, we had Gabriel and Valentina. What is Lenny doing in the barn in the beginning of chapter five? And why is he so upset? Hi, <clears throat> can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, uh, Lenny was in the farm with a puppy when he accidentally killed the puppy. We said fear is making him fight because he wants to find a way to hide that from yours. Signs science in he knows that he killed the puppy, he won't be able to turn the rabbit. But he after gets upset because he knows that he won't be able to hide that. And uh, I think he accidentally killed the puppy because he was playing with him. And he thought he wouldn't bite him, but he accidentally struck him to her. Yes, that's a good, you know, it sounds like you're imagining what the scene, like maybe the puppy tried to bite him. Is that what you said? Uh, yes. Uh-huh. And then, of course, you wouldn't like that. Yeah, puppies love to like bite and play and are very frisky. Um, they're not calm, just like my dog. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, group two has the question, why does Curly's wife want to talk to Lenny? And what does she tell him about herself? Group two is Diego and Ignacia. Curly's wife was lonely and needed to talk to somebody. She tells Lenny about her dream of becoming a movie star, but fails, since the man who offers her an opportunity scams her and later she talked about her marriage, being, being unhappy with the anger issues of Curly. Ooh, yes, well written. Um, when uh, Ignacia and Diego, when you read about uh, Curly's wife in this chapter, um, how did you feel towards her? Can you repeat the question? Yeah. When you when you were reading this about Curly's wife, when you were reading that she wants to be a model or an actress and that um, it, she, Curly can be very abusive, how did you feel? May I answer the question? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, I think it's like, the society was in that time it's oppressive with the woman with the feminine gender and it's like uh, she's she have to respond uh, to curly she uh, she don't have to respond she just have to accept all curly's like abusive treats and she cannot defend herself hmm. and it's like uh, she, she's being oppressed yeah, I, I appreciate that interpretation. It's like she's being oppressed. Um, she doesn't have a lot of options. Uh, she can only, like you said, Diego, do what Curly said. And really the law, there was nothing, like once you got married, um, a woman didn't really have any other options. All right, group three, we have Kami and Matilda. Why does Curly's wife ask Lenny to touch her hair? And then what? Uh, hi, Miss. Hi. I'm going to ask that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Lenny likes to touch something. And for that reason, Curly's wife tell him to touch her hair because he's soft too. Then Lenny started to bet her, but he can't control his force. And that's why my, uh, my prayer is going to answer that. Oh, perfect. Um, Lenny starts 
touching her hair so roughly that Curly's wife got scared and began to yell and scream. Lenny, while trying to keep her quiet, accidentally breaks her neck and kills her, which is something really creepy. Yeah. Didn't expect that. <laughs> it's something really weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yes. And I, I'm going to illustrate this with the video a little bit, just because those vocabulary words are more complex. Maybe you understood it. Um, so first he covers her mouth because she's going to scream and she's moving around so much. Now, if someone did that to you, if someone's holding you and covers your mouth, I mean, what would your reaction be? Would you go calm? What would your reaction be if someone is holding you and covers your mouth? I'm, I, I would die. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. She was responding in the most natural way possible. <laughs> um, and, and I like how you said he just was so strong. Um, kind of unexpected. It happened very quickly in the story. So good explanation, Kami and Matilda. Room four, we have Paula and Sebastian. After they find Curly's wife, what does George, so this is just George and Candy. What does George suggest to Candy that they do with Lenny? What does Candy respond? And then what do you think they should have done? Sebastian and Paula, are you pay, playing catchy poon? Who's going to, ah, hi, Paula. Uh, George suggests that they should find Lenny and lock, and lock him to prevent him from causing any further harm. And we think they should talk with Lenny and try to understand him and try to understand what happened and maybe uh, George should hide Lenny and try to, I don't know, hide him. Yeah. Uh, it would be a little hard. Uh, can you imagine this big man? This <laughs> But it certainly would have been an, an an idea to kind of get away. I mean, they ran away in the other city, maybe in this one. And that will happen again and again. Yeah. It would be much better if they could just get their little plot of land and do their own farm. Thank you, Paula. Thanks, Sebastian. Group five, Anais and Francisca. What does Candy mean when he says to George, then it's all off? And then how does George respond? Um, I'm sorry, Miss. I just get confused and I have the answer for the other one, but I can answer this. Oh, all right. Um, I think that he says that he already pictures something like a life dream that he has with the guys that he just met. Like maybe he was like um, picturing a, a dream life. Maybe something like it was perfect for him because their work wasn't the best. So maybe he chose to imagine, uh, well, his perfect life with the people that he knew. So uh, he felt really disappointed. And obviously then af uh, after we can see that how he tell he talks with the, well, the body of the girl's wife telling her that she ruined, she ruined everything and he was like a little bit off and maybe even a little bit depressed about it mm -hmm. because as I said, it's like he already pictured something that was really beautiful to him and it, it just broke it up. Yeah. And, and I, oh, go ahead. I don't know, I, 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 uh, the answer of George that he was just, he understood what happened and there was no possibility to continue with the dream that, mm. that is yeah and just to clarify that dream was the one that they talked about in the previous chapter yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. like the really uh, beautiful, beautiful house with tender rabbits and all this stuff yeah yeah oh good uh good save thank you for uh pivoting to answer this question 
I will remember to put the group number on the slides next time. Um, group number uh, six, right? Yes. Uh, Francisca Munoz and Nicole Vergara, what is Curly going to do to Lenny when the men catch him? Um, hi. Hi. I will answer. Great. Um, so Curly wants to lynch Lenny when the men catch him and of course potentially kill him especially in public to humiliate him mm -hmm. and we do not think this shows he loves his wife his wife because first off if he loves her and he won't be so violent towards her um I think he's only doing it for his own pride and anger issues. He already hated Lenny from the beginning, so this was just like the breaking point for him. Mm. I think he he thinks he this is the manliest thing to do for his for his own pride. So he's not laughed at by other people. Right. That's an excellent answer. Yes. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I just, I mean, I can't imagine someone who actually loves another person who their first reaction would be that they want to kill someone. I mean, what, what are, how would you react if you found someone that you love? Um, first off, I will want justice because I don't believe in violence like that. Mm -hmm. And I can't help but feel empathy for somebody like Lenny because he, he at the end of the day he is disabled so he he's not doing things with bad intent he was he was just uh, an accident I will kind of understand that yeah right like mm -hmm. see the moment and like try to understand it yeah thank you understand. We, we all react differently in in stressful situations so I will understand that yes um, and I like that people are also writing in the chat about how you would react. Um, yeah, natural responses of just absolute shock, maybe crying. Okay, last one, we're going to jump to, um, so life can be very lonely on the ranch. Um, who do you think is the loneliest, Diana and Vicente? Who did you think was the loneliest person in this story or in this? Hi, novel? Miss. Hey. Uh, we think that Crooks is the loneliest person because he faced the most profound loneliness. Uh, he's first of all, he's racially is segregated. Mm -hmm. uh, he lives separately from the other people working there, mm -hmm. and he experienced a. Uh, emotional isolation mm. because of the discrimination all of that caused by the social prejudice i think it's the uh, spell how do you uh, spell the word yes uh, Pre prejudice. prejudice yeah prejudice. It, okay okay i think it's uh, french it's got a very strong pronunciation prejudice okay uh, uh by the social prejudice and racism mm. Yes. Oh, I think those are great examples to reinforce crooks as the most um, the most lonely. Because you're right, uh, he experiences everything like everyone else, but he's all alone. And like you said, he experiences racism on top of it. So in the chat, um, after this discussion, can you just drop right? What do you think is the main theme of chapter five? If you would give this title, a, a, a title to this chapter of um, what it means. What does this chapter mean? Last chapter was prejudice um, and racism. We put prejudice, racism. What would you put on this chapter? We know we're at the end of class. 
There's no wrong answer here. I'll give you some clues. Ooh. Um, we talked about um, losing someone you love. Sadness, how you deal maybe with, with different, um, different topics. It must be the end of class. My dog knows right away. <laughs> sadness and also think um of the you know the the experiences that people were sharing um we started out with Lenny having strong feelings and then we also talked about um Curly's wife sharing her own personal feelings oppression yeah like I said there's not a wrong answer this is more like what theme would you give it unexpected situations. Yeah. Well, I am going to stop sharing this very quickly. I want to make sure that you know what, um, what to do. So um, you can, let me put this up here real fast. We're going back to Educondus. I need to share this screen with you. Okay, so for, oops, didn't share it. There we go. For class two, you can work with a partner on this. Um, so this is going to count as attendance for class two. Um, and you, there are two readings. They are one page. One is a letter um, to Claire Luce, and one is another letter about um, st from Steinbeck talking about the character of Curly's wife. So with a partner, one person can read one, one person can read the other. And then you can answer the questions. Each, each person must submit a response. So let me just write that in here. Everyone in meeting, class two, complete this activity for attendance. You can. You can do this alone or with a partner. Read the um, two documents. So partner one, so you can read one. And then um, answer the question. You must submit a response. Okay, put it in the chat. You must submit a response to receive attendance credit. So will you receive credit if your partner writes a response? I see one answer. No, you will not receive credit. All right. Miss, um, can you explain it again? Because I get a little bit confused. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so you say like something about credit and then I, I get lost. Yes, this class is two. So we have this virtual class and then we have ex, uh, class two work. So this is, you, you, must, you must submit a response here to receive attendance credit. Okay, okay, now I understand. 
Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. And that is just starting today. You need to submit an answer here. I'm the teacher, so I, I don't see. Well, I have it under. Let's see if I can make it so I can see it. The deadline is before uh, class next week. So you need to submit an answer in the activity. Going down to chapter five. I wish this was faster. Thank you for your patience. Okay. Oh, I still can't. Well, can you please check and see if you are able to submit here? Because mine is still right. Mine is still um, in teacher mode. Okay, so let's check also all of our LAMS deadlines. We'll go right down here to LAMS activities. Remember, you have an extension uh, for here. This is due on Monday. So it is, actually, I should change that. Ju not June 2nd, it's due on Monday. Um, LAM 6 is due June 16th, so in two weeks. And then uh, the TOEFL writing and the TOEFL listening are due June 23rd before class. I would suggest working on the listening in preparation for the listening test. Remember, our listening test is next week. Right here, you, you can do an audio browser test, and then you can also look at the information for the listening quiz. Ooh, good question. So you are going to write in LAMS 5, it says essay. You need to write. Um, there should be a prompt above that tells you what to write about. Let's see if I can open it up and find it. LAMS 5. Oh, and of course, if you have all the answers, you are free um, to go. This is just because um, I, this is my office hour. So I'm answering any of your questions. I want to make sure you feel confident. So let's find the essay part. Uh, Matilda, or not Matilda, Francisca, can you, where's the writing part? Is that here? Ah uh, yes, I open the lesson and I choose uh, firstly the the I think it was the last part, like the writing. We have to answer something about um a new thing that it was how can I explain it? It was the last part of the lens where they it was like an answer of how Steinbeck put something about um it was an image when they uh, explained why Lenny should is going to kill like Curly's wife when mm -hmm. they say like he likes to pet the rabbits and the and he killed mice and stuff. Then in the second part it says essay and I didn't find anything else so I didn't know what to do. Oh, um, I'm having trouble actually jumping to it. So I would say you have two options. You could send me a screenshot. Um, so I have a better idea of where to go on it, or you could write to Lambs. Yeah, I will send you an email with the screenshot of the part. Sure.
Um, I'm going to stop recording because like class is finished. <laughs> and so if you want to 